Welcome, 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 boils and ghouls, back to another Tokyo Treat Unboxing. That's right, okay. I know, it's been a while since I've done one of these. And don't worry, I have a few of them. But, if I'm correct, this is the October box. The Spoopo Month box. Halloween. <laughs> Let's jump into it and see what we've got this month. Alright, so let's see. Okay. I'm gonna keep the scissors here in case I need them. Are we ready? I'm gonna let you guys see it first. Fantastic Halloween. It looks so cute. And the pumpkins. Look at the pumpkins. Oh, this is adorable. Hey, Tokyo Treat fam. Trick or treat, duh, treat, obviously. It's the spookiest season of the year. And that means snacking on some limited edition Halloween snacks. Japanese snacks tend to get a little bit more experimental around Halloween, so there's no end to the interesting things to try. We picked up some of our spooky snack favorites that we had to share with you this month. Brace yourself for some terrifyingly tasty snacktacular Halloween. Lots of love, the Tokyo Tree Crew. Thank you. I love the pumpkins this year. Keep an eye out for these super, these supernatural Japanese spirit of Kappa. Rokurokubi and Tengu. I know what two of the three are. I don't know what the others are, you know? Um, okay, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna say the soda flavor is an odd choice, but we'll take it. Because it can't go wrong. Alright, first up is Calypsis Soda Grape. We're feeling fruity this spooky season. Refreshing Calypsis Clips Soda Grape Bloods Mellow Grape with Clips Classy Fizzy and Milky Goodness for a refreshing treat. I'm kind of excited for this, if I'm gonna be honest. Doesn't look like there's any, like... You see? Okay, we're good. It's a little weird. It tastes like a grape pie chew, though. So I can't really complain. I don't know, it's just different. Ooh. Are you ready? Boom. Kit Kak. Apple Sandman, even ghosts can't stop hunting this tasty pack of Kit Kats. With a fruity and slightly spicy combo of apple and cinnamon, it's a terrifyingly tasty limited edition Halloween snack. Okay, this is ultra and cute. I love the design on this packaging. It's so cute. Like, that is adorable. 14 different styles, I think it said. The flavors are all the same, just the packaging is different. I don't want to like... Can we also comment... I, I gotta comment on the packaging real quick. It is definitely a paper. Um, it is not plastic packaging. In fact, it seems like it might be a wax paper. Um, and for some reason, I like that better than plastic. Oh, this is perfect. This is the perfect one to try. It's got a little Halloween bird, a little pumpkin guy. Perfect, perfect. That one's so cute. Really, though, 
can we please have more pumpkin flavored things? Apple and cinnamon actually is pretty solid. And I can't complain because it's very full. But I need pumpkin flavors. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, that's wonderful. That's so good. Red and black magic gum. Give your friends a Halloween surprise with these Japanese cola flavored gum. Chew it and it will turn your tongue red and black. So is one red and black? Or is like, oh no, oh, this is interesting. So it's not at all what I expected. It comes in strips, so I'm gonna say one's red and one's black. Which is also nice because I don't have to eat the whole thing right now. I'm gonna take the red for a small bite. Mm hmm. I like it. I love cola. Oh my god. I didn't lie. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not gonna try the black one. Because that's insane. Like, that is. It's cola. Very cola. Ready? So it looks like maybe the black isn't as prominent as the red. That or you need a lot more black. Okay, it's darkening a bit. Okay. I'm gonna spit this out for now. Tissue I should have used for my nose. You know, I'm not the smartest. I'm not gonna eat these because I've had them before. These are just the Halloween versions, which are super cute, and I'm not gonna complain about. Um, Pokemon Halloween Choco Corn. Your Pokemon pals are giving up for a Halloween party. These light and chocolatey Pikachu zip cord snaps have a loot limited Halloween packet. <laughs> Pro tip, enjoy it on its own, or try it with milk and ice cream, which I actually might do. Oh, like I said, I'm not gonna try them. They're delicious. They're just little chocolatey um, chips, basically. And I cannot complain about that. Oh, next up is the big one. Okay. <laughs> I'm also not gonna eat these, if I'm being honest, because... And you might notice something. I have indeed had these before. 
Oh my god, this pack. is super cute. It comes out with a cut mask that you could actually wear. Um, but if you, did you notice anything? Did you did you see? They're just they're just. Um, oh my god! I want I can want to call them Pringles, but they're not Pringles. They're not Funyuns. Oh my god! You know, the thingies you put on your fingers and you make the nails look literally like the little girl in the package has. Yeah, the, just those. Um, these Japanese Togari corn snacks are bewitching. They have plenty of buttered toast flavored for a fall treat with blend of tasty Halloween magic. Buttered toast? I'll try them on their own. I don't want to open up the package right now. It's also 3 a.m. But I know they're really good, so I can't complain. I mean, a lot of these at the end of the day are just corn snacks. You can't really, you know, say anything bad about that. Another one I, I have had, so I'm not going to eat it right now. I'm sorry. I'm not going to eat everything. Um, Pocky crushed strawberry, bittersweet Pocky with a juicy crushed strawberry and strawberry chocolate topping over a crunchy cacao base with a frightfully yummy Japanese snack is a frightfully joke. I mean, these are just strawberry Pocky, so not all that awesome. Okay, here's something I haven't had, or at least I don't think I've had. Mini monster fruit candy. No need to check under the bed. The monster's in your Tokyo tree box, but don't worry, these fruity and sour soft candy won't give you a fright. Okay. Okay, I think I have had these before. I've had an American version, but let's see. It seems like it's more fruity. We're gonna break them up by color. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's lemon. Mm, that one's orange. Okay, so we have. Okay, so there's only four colors. Mm -hmm. It was orange. I'm gonna say cherry or strawberry. I'm gonna say cherry. I hope it's strawberry though. Mm -hmm. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Mmm, apple. We're really dumb. Mmm. Oh, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta move the box for this one. Mini Mont, or no. Spooky water do-it-yourself candy kit. Time for some Halloween magic. This mysterious candy gets even more tasty when you mix the three flavors to become a new flavor. Head to page seven for more info on the spooky snack. Okay, so yeah, there's like a... Um, check out the photo contest. But yeah, so there's like a... Pour the blue water candy to the tray. Add the yellow water candy and stir until blended. Add the final pack of red candy and swirl it until it comes purple. Enjoy the new grape flavor. Blue soda water candy, yellow lemon water candy. 
red strawberry water candy. Huh. I'm intrigued. I mean, it's literally just like... liquids in the thing like liquids in like sauce packet containers okay so we're gonna do it like the instructions say Actually, no, yeah, you could probably make a syrup out of this. Okay, let me... I kind of hate packaging like this, because it's hard to get everything out of. Oh my god, there's so much in there. See how this tastes. It's removing. yellow next. We're just going to take it off. Mm. It's like a, yeah, it's like a lemon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're mixing it. lemon and then strawberry it creates great really surprised it creates great and then I just gotta like scrape all of the slime up out of here and eat it that seems a little ridiculous messy too. It's definitely strawberry. All right, so I got them all in here. They are just kind of mushed together. And stir until it becomes a purple. And it's definitely becoming a purple now from the blue and the red. Yeah, I just spilt it all over myself. 
so I'm gonna eat it off my t-shirt. What did I say? What did I literally just say? I don't get to see my nipple. Yeah, it's great. Well, good thing it's a new shirt. Hair. Bad thing. I gotta wash it now. Again. After literally just doing that. I probably look disgusting, huh? Got so much sugar. I mean, the thing is, is I have to finish this. Like, I can't. If I throw it away, it's just wasting it. I don't like the waste. I like it, but I'm gonna make your butt here. It's so messy. And it's so sticky. My hands are like covered in a stick. I'll be right back. Another awesome shirt that I designed. Alright, cool. Back at it. So we're halfway through. Alright, next up is. Small back. Halloween no mochi taro. Give your Halloween season an old fashioned crunchy and salty twist. These are after kind of simple but tricks and break up to the Halloween sugar rush. Oh, that's so cute. It's a pumpkin boy. Look. I've had these also. We've had these in other boxes. They're those little square, little corn um, crunchy bits. Yeah, they're savory, they're little corn snacks. I mean, they're in just about every box. Like the ones I haven't tried already. I can either already, I've already had them in another box, or I can literally find these at a grocery store here. I don't even mean an Asian one. Okay, um. Ooh. Happy Halloween, Fugashi. This Jalloween Japanese treat will melt in your mouth, baked with a wheat flour. It's a light snack with a rich and slightly sweet flavor. Hey, I really love this packaging. And it's packaging like this, 
that really makes me not want to open it. But I'm, I am. I'm gonna do it carefully. Oh, I fucked that up, huh? I've had this before. This is slightly disappointing. Uh, it's cute, and I dig the cute packaging, I really do, but I just, I don't know, I want to try things I haven't had before, and it's good and all, so it's, it's not, well, it, it's kind of chocolate, it's like peanut on chocolate, it's not hard chocolate, it's a very light, very, very light, um, crisp. delicious actually this is a little different it was actually different from the other one I've had before so I take everything aside I said I'll say this is kind of what I like it's not too chocolatey it's not too sweet I got a nice crunch to it and it collapses in your mouth and it does it melts away And you're probably like, why are you chewing them? It's that that light chocolate on the outside. Mm -hmm. All right. Holland Senba, Senbi. It's your favorite how? What is your favorite trick or treat snack? And you want to switch up your sweet snacking? This light glutinous rice or rice snack is just what you need. Okay, so it's like a race cracker. It feels like. There's no Halloween packaging. Okay, so it's like two race crackers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of the same flavor as that. A little bit more savory. It's really good. It might even have like a slight soy sauce to it. Honestly, I can't tell. It's delicious. That was really good. Ooh. So I've had these last year, but I am gonna eat them this time because they're delicious. Maple Butter Beer Ramune Candy. Wizard School meets Japanese candy. These Ramune sweets have an awesome fizzy texture and a rich maple butter beer flavor that's perfect for the fall. Was it maple butter beer though? I don't remember. But being perfectly honest. I cannot remember. Alright. So these are little pills that just basically almost immediately break down. And they're gone. Oh, those are really good. Okay, I think they are different from what I had before. I mean, they're the same, like, thing. They're just a different flavor. Mm. God, I love that. I love butter beer. It doesn't. It tastes like candy butter beer. It doesn't taste like you're drinking butter beer. I don't know. Like it tastes like you're eating butter beer. I don't. I don't know how to explain it. It's really good though. Mini chocolate or mini strawberry milk choco balls. Time for little Halloween fortune. This telling. These mini strawberry chocolate balls are not only a tasty treat, but each one comes with a fortune. Great. I don't know what any of that says. So, help me out here. Yeah, okay. It's not going to focus. I had these last year. I know for a fact I had these last year. Um, I might even have them earlier this year in another box. So, I'm not going to try them. 
They're literally just little strawberry chocolate balls. They're really good. I don't need to be killing a sugar high right now. Also, another one I'm not going to be eating tonight. I have had these before. They are delicious. And I kind of want to save them for myself for later and make sure they're not stale when I eat them. Because a lot of the times when I come back to these later on is like a day or two or three or even a week down the road. Then I have it here and I'll pick it up. Like, oh, I want to eat one of these delicious snacks and I'll eat it. It's, it's already open. And it's been sitting out there. Even though I clipped it closed and everything, it's still slightly stale. So, we are going to slightly change up how this is. I, I think I'm going to do it a little bit more like this. Umaiwa Mintai flavor. You're ready for a spooky, spicy, savory surprise? Umai Wai is a crunchy and light Japanese corn tree with an addictive, crispy texture. Yeah, they're really good. They're delicious, and I sure as hell cannot complain about them. Oh, I did skip over one. My bad. Umai Bo Cheese. When it starts to get dark early and early, his golden umaibo is here to remind you of the bright and shiny days with its mellow cheese flavor. I'm not going to eat this one either. I've had it before, man. In fact, they, I think they put it in like every box. Same with this. I've had it before. Full Moon Pond. You don't need to worry about werewolves with this full moon. This moon-shaped crunchy rice cracker has salty and spicy soy sauce flavor that's scarily good. It's okay. It's not really my thing, um, if I'm being honest. It's super soy saucy. Um, and super salty. It's just... It's kind of a treat for a blue moon. Giggity. Giggity? <laughs> Giggity. And I definitely had these last year, so I'm not going to try them again. But I loved them. Um, they tasted wonderful. Halloween pizza snacks. Halloween scary movie marathon, anyone? Grab your Japanese pizza snacks and you won't be able to stop munching while you watch. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, they're delicious, man. I love the little pumpkin there, too. That's so cute. And that's it. That's, um, that's the box. I'm sorry I didn't try everything. Um, but, you know, th that's kind of life. So I'm not, I'm not surprised here. Um, so let's do... Let's do... A little photo contest, right? We got the photo contest for this, so let's, let's snap it live, right? Get, we gotta get all this stuff. We gotta kind of pack it in here. We gotta make it look dope. We gotta hold it up. Not have pumpkin boo fall. Hold it up like this, right? Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. And we're gonna do like. Do like yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Let's do this. Let's get to the I'll oh, get the code. Taken the picture for the photo contest with a pumpkin boom and a bunch of stuff. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna say we're done. We're done. We're done with the video. We're done with the video, boys and girls. So, thank you for joining me on another wonderful Tokyo treat. I'll see you in the next one. I did 5,000 boys and girls. <laughs>